Hello dear students of class first. Dear students, today we will do the multiple choice questions of maths world of lesson number 7 measurement which we call MCQs. So let's start. Our first question is which creature is farthest from the cat? Option A is fish. Option B is cock. Option C is rat and option D is butterfly. Students look carefully at this picture. On right hand side of the cat few creatures are given. First of all is rat which means the distance between cat and rat is least. Next is fish which means the distance of fish from cat is more than that of rat. Next is cock which stands after rat and fish, so its distance is more than that of rat and fish. And at the end, in the picture, butterfly is there. So students, butterfly is at the maximum distance from cat, so it is farthest from the cat. So as we came to know that the distance between the cat and the butterfly is the most, so, butterfly is farthest from the cat. So, let's take the option D. Next, question number 2 is, who is standing near to the flag? A. Rohan B. Pooja C. Rahul and D. Shani Dear students, in this picture, four students are visible to us, standing close to each other. And closest to the flag, first of all, Rohan is standing. Next, after Rohan, at second position, Puja is standing. At third position, after Puja, Rahul is standing. And Shani is standing at fourth position after Rahul. So, students, we know that the object which is closest to us is nearest to us. So here as Rohan is closest and nearest to the flag, so that's why Rohan is the correct answer. So let's take the option A. Rohan. Now next, question number 3 is, look at the picture and tell what is between park and grocery shop. Dear students, here again four options are given. Option A is park, option B is house, option C is hospital and option D is grocery shop. Now come, let's check the order of the buildings given in the picture. First of all is school. Dear students, in second position, park is there. At third position, house is there. At fourth position, grocery shop. And at 5th position, hospital is there. Dear students, we can see that after park, house is there. And after house, grocery shop is there. Which means the house is in between park and grocery shop. So students, option B, house is our correct answer. So let's take the option B. Next, question number 4 is, what can be used in a school to measure the length of blackboard? Here again four options are there. Option A with hands. Option B with feet. Option C with watch. And option D with balance. Come, let's try to measure the length of blackboard with these four things. First of all, let's use the hands to measure the length of the blackboard. Students, it is a common way to measure length and with it we can easily measure length of a blackboard. Next, option B is feet. Students, with feet we cannot measure length of a blackboard. Option C is watch. Students, with watch we know about time. We cannot measure length of a blackboard with watch. And now, let's talk about option D, balance. Students, with balance, we measure the weight of an object, not the length. So, students, from the given choices, we can only use hands to measure the length of the blackboard. So, we'll take the option A, hands. 
Now, dear students, it's turn for your homework. And in your homework, you have to do all these MCQs neatly in your notebooks. Bye-bye students. We'll meet in the next video.